I viewed pornography for the first time when I was 11 years old and for the last time when I was 61. That's 50 years of sinning against God, 30 of them as a Christian. I sinned repeatedly because I lied to myself. I lied so often that I eventually believed my lies. But that all changed on November 4th, 2021, when I purposed before God to never look at anything wicked ever again and to never masturbate ever again. And here I am, 366 days later, living what I purposed back then. I have a year of victory under my belt, excuse the metaphor, partly because I no longer believe those lies. Here they are. See if you tell any of these lies to yourself. Lie number one, God doesn't see. When I view pornographic images and videos, I tell myself that God doesn't see. I sin in secret, but God does see. Lie number two, it's not adultery. Jesus says that I commit adultery when I look at a woman to lust after her, but I lie to myself. I don't commit adultery unless I do the physical act. I assure myself, but I'm deluded. Line number three, I'm not hurting anyone. When I convince myself that viewing a porn actress is harmless, I deceive myself. My sin hurts her because my sin makes the entire sex trafficking industry profitable. I provide the demand for the degrading acts that she is forced to perform for my wicked pleasure. Line number four, I won't be punished. When I masturbate to porn week in, week out, year after year, and pay no consequences, I deceive myself into believing that this activity doesn't incur God's wrath. I lie to myself that my actions are not so bad as to send me to hell. I am deluded because they will. Line number five, my salvation is secure. I think I can commit sexual immorality repeatedly, habitually, with no change in my manner of living, and inherit the kingdom of God. But that is false. I am either saved or I am sexually immoral. I can't be both. Paul warned the church at Corinth about this very deception. Line number six, I'm addicted. I watch porn because I'm addicted, I tell myself but no one forces me to sin. I have moral agency. I must admit that I don't have to sin. If someone offered me $50 million to stop looking at porn, I'd stop immediately. I'm not addicted. Line number seven, I am powerless. When I recite the first step of Celebrate Recovery, I affirm that I am powerless over my addictions and compulsive behaviors. I believe a lie because I have power. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Line number eight, my problem is porn. If I think my problem is external, that is porn sites, porn apps on my phone, porn movies, I lie to myself. I'm tempted by porn because I desire it. My problem is me. Line number nine, some temptations are too strong. When I believe there is no way of escape when I am tempted sexually, I believe a lie. Because with every sexual temptation that I face, God always provides a way of escape. Line number 10, I don't have to pluck out my right eye. When I think I am strong enough to resist sexual temptation, from my smartphone or my laptop or my computer, even though I have discovered that I cannot resist sexual temptation, I lie to myself. If my right eye causes me to sin, I must pluck it out and throw it away. 